Hi, Speed Relative, it's Joe Fury in the Storm Team 8 Weather Center. Well, yeah, the first uh, three days of, of November, at least for the morning hours, uh, having that real winter feel, winter look, the frost. You guys up in the hills had snow to start November, and the frost has been thick. And now, well, here we are with the first weekend of November, and for the first time in nine weeks, we've got a dry weekend, and we've got temperatures that are in pretty good shape as well. The clouds may steal the show a lot of the time, but overall, we're doing fine, and guess what? We're going to do fine right on through Election Day. Supercharged jet across the nation. Yeah, flights from California to Connecticut are coming in an hour ahead of schedule. That's the case if you go from the East Coast on over to Europe. Big storms over there in Europe. Uh, for us, well, all is quiet. We're doing great. There's a big storm coming into the Northwest United States. You're going to hear a lot about this over the weekend and early next week. We have a weak front coming in here Saturday night, but it should come through dry. Look at those numbers across the nation. 58 at Chicago. So we start 30s and 40s, not as cold Saturday morning. Saturday's highs up near 60. More clouds and sun, but it's okay. And then if you're out tomorrow evening, doing fine. 40s to start Sunday. Highs up near 60 Sunday. Mixed sun and clouds, super Sunday. And then, yes, we're gaining an hour of sleep as we set the clocks back one hour when you head to bed Saturday night. Sunrise Sunday morning, 629 down to 441. Monday in the seasonable 50s. And election day looks dry, breezy, and pleasant. We're up in that 60 range. 30s and 40s tonight, 60. A lot of clouds Saturday. We're back near 60. Big sunny clouds for a great Sunday. Again, sunset's about 441. Quiet Monday. Right now, Election Day. Looking great. Cooler again, middle and end of next week. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you're feeling well. Stay safe.